What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Glock some more. I'm finna get over here and show y'all how to take apart the PlayStation 5 controller and fix the stick drift. All right, first of all, you wanna start by popping this off. And this is the cover to the shit that makes it look like this. And you pop this off. You pop off in the corners here and here. Lift up over the analog sticks, and then you got two screws, one here, one here. And then you pop out this button and this button and there's two screws right there. So we can go ahead and pop those out. Oh shit. Pop these out and now you got a screw right there and you got a screw right there. So we're gonna take this uh, handy dandy little screwdriver that I got in the phone. Um, phone screen changing kit. We're going to unscrew these two buttons back here. And unscrew this one over here. Let me bring down the camera a little more. Yeah, so we're going to unscrew these. Make sure. Make sure you keep them together so you know. I, I'm keeping mine right here. You can see them right there. And, um, yeah. Don't mind if you hear my son in the back fussing a little bit. He's back there taking a bath. Um, screw number three. We got screw number four here. And it's pretty simple, quick, and easy. It shouldn't take you that long to, to get to it. I'm actually going to be swapping parts over, but since I'm swapping parts over, I might as well show you guys how to fix the stick drift. So you take the screwdriver and you stick it in the slide. And you just twist it and you cause a little separation. You're going to hear it pop right there. You go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, but I don't want to look at the lizards. They outside, they chilling. Leave them alone. Then you're going to take it, lift it up. And you have to lift it up over these LR2. And when you pull this off. Detach the battery, just pull it by the wires. And then take the screwdriver, take out the battery plate. There is a speaker on the front of this controller. So you want to detach that. You just pull that out. You pull it out by finger. It's not going to do anything. A little tab. And you lift this out and you basically do the same thing for this blue tab here this blue tab here blue tab over here disconnect all of these disconnect disconnect those and then you take this wiggle it and just pop it up popping those two uh, and then you pop this up you want to be careful when you flip it over that you don't mess up any of the solders I also forgot to tell you to detach the other sensor that was on there that's what I just did this one not sticking up here but you flip it over nice like that. Then you take off this. It pops right off, but um, I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to break the solders. I don't have a solder machine. So after I've done that, I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver, 
well not this big one, I'm gonna take this little guy and I'm gonna stick it right in the top. So right here in the top of these, you see the little, the little slits here, like one slit there, another slit here. You just stick that in there and pop it off. So what I'm gonna do is pop this off. this off and what you want to do is you want to pull these these little guys out of there and this right here is what causes stick drift see how it's kind of dirty it's kind of pink on the other side. Hold on, let me pick it up and give you guys a good, better look at it. Okay, so basically this one is burnt up. Hold on, let me see. I'm kind of recording with the front camera, so. It's kind of burnt up. The back is pretty, like, red and rusted out. So what you want to do is get you some alcohol and pour the alcohol in the top. Get you some Q-tips and you want to wipe it off. So after you clean this on both sides, you place it back in with the springs facing the black sensor on the inside. And that's, that's how you clean the sensors off for the analog sticks so that it can read that it's not nothing on there or anything like that. But with these, they're all rusted up and burnt out because I actually dropped this controller in water. But other than that, this is how you take the controller apart. This is how you get to the um, sensors that causes the stick drift in the analog sticks. It's very simple, very easy to do. Yeah, both of these are completely toasted. They're completely toasted. They're rusted, they're gold. So yeah. Yeah, we're trying to get this together. And do it for the other side. You have to remember when your controller is flipped over, it's opposite. So this one is the left one. This one is the right one. And this one is the left one. Yes. Another fly. Okay. Dad, dad going to come get it in a second. She's trying to tell her mom to wait. Charge, so I'm actually looking at these and it's only one good one in there. I see why it was doing what it was doing. But I'm going to use this controller for, like, parts and things. I just used this controller to show you guys how to take it apart. I'm finna clean this wire controller. Same thing. And then plug it in and show you guys there's no more stick drift. So I went ahead and showed you guys how to go ahead and take it apart and all of that stuff with the red controller. I have the white controller took apart. I'm only having difficulties with one controller this one over here and remember when you flip it over it's opposite side it's not the same side as you thought it was when it's flipped over on the other side so i'm gonna show you exactly what i mean by take it apart and clean it with the alcohol and uh q-tips so i'm gonna go ahead and break this apart real quick once again make sure you be careful you don't want to break the solders when you taking off these, popping these green things out. 
I try to get it out as far as I can and clip it with my finger and just pull it back. And then same with the other side. Put in, twist, put in, twist, get it far enough back. Okay. So now we got it apart. Which y'all can see. Take off two, both of those two things. Take out the white things. And we're going to clean. Turn on our PlayStation. And hopefully we have no more stick drift. I'm trying to see though, because this doesn't look nearly as dirty as the other ones. But we're going to clean both of these. Take my alcohol. Fill the cap up. Take my Q-tip. Dip the Q-tip in there, get it nice and wet. And you wanna take the Q-tip and you wanna rub the inside of the green thing. You wanna wet it real good. Both of them, clean them out. You wanna take it and flip it to the dry side. And you wanna get in there and you wanna clean as much as possible. Then you take the same thing with a fresh Q-tip. Don't use the same one because you never know what you cleaned up out of there, even though if it looks like nothing. You wanna take these and you wanna wipe them down. You gotta wipe them down. And make sure you don't get any of the Q-tip little things on there because it'll stop it. So we're just gonna clean that up a little bit. Clean this one up a little bit. Make sure you get all the oils and the grease all from around there. All right, so now that I've cleaned everything up with the alcohol on my Q-tips, I'm gonna take everything and start slowly flipping it back over, placing it back where it goes, pulling all these wires from the inside. And we're gonna get this in here. Hold on, we have to get that sensor wire to come out from right there. Yeah. Here we go. Yes, baby. Okay, now we're just gonna start plugging all of our um, blue tabs back in. Make sure you don't miss one, there should be three of them. That one, this one over here on this side. And then this one over here on this side. Okay, so we got those back in there, nice and secure. Now we're gonna take our other little sensors and plug these ones back in, like these little tabs right here. Push those back into place. And then we're gonna take the speaker, we're gonna plug that back in, cause that's gonna go on top of the battery tray. Yes, baby. Okay. Okay, so we got that back in. We're gonna take our battery tray. Yeah. And we're gonna place this back where okay. it goes. Yeah. Let's get this up and flip this in. Hopefully you guys can see over this. Right My fat ass Daddy. fingers. And if I could do this with big hands, he could do this too. 
Put these screws back. That's the battery tray screw back in. Everything goes plugged up. Take our battery. We're gonna slide this back in. Plug this back up. Mm -hmm. Place that in there like that. Now I was thinking. No, I'm just going to do it. Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Let's put the white on the red and put the red on the white. No! Yes. Yeah. You about to go lay down? Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. I need you to put that down. No. Put it down, Lenise. Listen to what she's telling you. I was supposed to slide the back on first. Around, you gotta get it around R L2 and R2. So basically place it up like that. Place it up in there and then place it in there and then push down in it. Closes the whole controller. I was actually should have switched out this. I was thinking about it. Switch that out to red. And then you want to take your screws and get these bad boys back in there. No more. All done. Oh. Let's go. And I just did two controllers within 20 minutes. Saves you about a good 70 bucks. Good 70 to 80 bucks. Yeah. We got this under control. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'd like some more on how to fix the stick drift. You will no longer have stick drift problems. I'm going to end this right here, and I'm going to show you guys that the controller no longer has stick drift. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys that it doesn't have stick drift. Don't mind how the video is recording. I broke my back camera, so I have to record with the front camera. But controller's cutting on. Usually, I wouldn't even be able to pick a player. It would be going back and forth like this. It would be doing that type of thing. It'd be doing this type of thing. Going back and forth. Another successful controller. I'll sign in. Let's go home. See, no problems. No more problems. I could go all the way over here. No more back and forth. I could actually stop, pick a game. Like, it's literally back working perfectly fine. So... If you watch this video and you like it, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Again, I broke my back camera, so that's exactly why I'm recording like this. Thank you.